Hello, everybody. My, I'm Amber Reese, and I'm the host of the Am Perspective. And today's episode, we are going to be breaking down. I can do all things here to share his journey into the Christian hip hop artistry or industry. It's so much more, everybody. Give it up. It's an honor to be here, man. Show off in the building. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. So I have to know, how, take us back, when was your journey, like, in the hip-hop? Like, when did you start getting into music? And when did you know, when was the exact moment that you know that hip-hop was going to be it for you? I started hip-hop, and I'll say, I've been doing music, you know, my whole life, listening and loving to dance to music. But um, hip hop really attacked from me. This area? I'll say I got oh. strong in fifth grade when it was time for a competition. It was like a talent show, and um, we got to write um a rap. And I got my homeboy Sherry, man. I still remember that rap today. And we wrote um math reading take the EOGT about passing your end of grade test. And it was a smash hit at the school. Like this is back in the day. They had like a camera, but this back. How far? How far back? Way back, like in the nineties, I guess. Way back. And yeah, we did that, and people was always this before the internet and all that. People would all everywhere I would go back then. Growing up as a kid, like a couple of kids would ask me, "Man, do the rap like?" And I guess that was like going viral back then because they would ask me. I was surprised, like, years later, somebody would, like, stop me, but, man, make do the song at this camp. People was making me rap it. But it was pretty cool. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. hip-hop. So this was, pre, so this was pre-internet. Yeah, this is pre-internet. This is for all and you got all, you got all the, and you got all that love? Okay. Well, I happened to come across you, my friend of mine, Freddie. He um sent me your video of getting adjusted by Dr. Joseph Cipriano, which I happen to be a fan of. And when I seen the video, I was just like, hmm. I listened to your story, and it just made me more intrigued to want to know more about you. Thank you. So... So much so that I like I wrote you and I told you about my show, but this was pre before the air perspective even took off. So, I mean, it's cool to see someone in the differently abled community because ain't no diss over here, ain't no diss in our abilities to go after their dreams and make things happen. So for me, it's awesome to see my peers in our community just doing their thing and making it happen and that's exactly what you're doing i mean i believe just like you know the name of the episode i can do all things philippians 4 and 13 you know it says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so i believe we're a living testament to that so because you know what you know what you mean when you say that you didn't mean a little bit of things, he said all things. That yes, he did. All. Yes, he did. So people don't be understanding. I emphasize on that. All things. That's what he mean. We'll yes. be we'll be able to do it for those who love him. Yes. We definitely love him. Look how far he took us. Baby. Yes, 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 yes. That is that is so yeah. tr- that is so yeah. true. So Let's do it. He is. He is. It's awesome, man. Yes. What was what was life like before and after your accident? Okay, before I say um, I've been doing gospel ten years before my accident, so I've always put God in my life because I was I used to go to be the drummer at church. Um, I was always active in my church, and um, I, I wanted to do gospel. God hit me. God hit me one day and was like, "I need somebody that is gonna be, you know, hood or do your thing, but just keep me involved with what you're doing." Basically, you see what this is back when Soldier Boy was doing what he was doing, and God showed me like, 
you see what he's doing i need somebody to stand up for me and do this for the do this for the for the church and make it cool to open the doors and show some youth that it's all right to praise god and god is cool too he got cool stuff going on you just have to talk you have to open up to him and let him use you and show them how cool god is because he the original g like he the original yes 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 and god showed me that because i was learning from god like he was showing me like man look at this you saw what was going on with david and goliath you know god a gangster. he said hey man that big giant messed with me god said look this is what you do take your little rock and put it in the strap Go up there and bust him upside his head. That's exactly what he did, right? Yes, he right. did. With a slingshot. Exactly. So, if God can allow him to do that or just give him the, the mindset to take care of that and handle that, and nobody else can see the way, I mean, but you know, busting your head up against with a rock, it don't matter who you is, you're going down. So, God was gangster. Like, he showed David what he could do. And that's exactly what he did because he listened to the, the word of God. He listened to God. So, I use that as inspiration of my own life. We can, yes, we can yes. take we can take these these um these giants down as long as we put God in the picture. Like my grandma always said, "Keep God in the picture." That's what we do. What are some pros and cons that you've learned along the way since starting your rap career? Well, some pros. Um, I've learned to get, uh, um, I've learned how to get closer to God with, um, helping and inspiring people. It's been, it's so many pros on, um, I don't know about the cons really. The, um, well, I don't, I don't really know where to start. I, I'll always be grateful. So, I don't really, I can't think of anything negative or anything bad about Praising God, it's been so good. I always be thankful because it could be worse, and I'm just grateful for what He allowed me to do. That yeah. is that is awesome. That is awesome. I definitely can concur. Um, you know, when God gives you a purpose, you we may not realize it. It's our purpose at first. But when we start listening to him and letting him lead, guide, and direct us, the wheels just come off, you know? So I definitely can relate. What is your favorite scripture and how has that helped you through good and bad times? I love Psalms 91. I like Psalms 91. Can you tell the viewers just a little part of that scripture? Think ye first to of God and all his righteousness. And I have to seek God first because I know if I just put my if I put my my trust in God, depend on him, allow him to use me, he'll keep on use to keep me here like he's been keeping me. And I want to inspire other people to get closer to God because if I'm able to accomplish what I'm able to accomplish, I know he can use you in a mightier way. I believe it. I just wanted people to look at me and be inspired and not be, not, um, how do you, I don't want nobody to be discouraged. I want somebody to look at my story and say, oh man, look at, if he can do it, then I can do better. Like, I know I can do better. Like, I can do, I can, I can do what I'm doing better. I can take this as inspiration because when I was able body, I really didn't have anybody like me to help motivate me, I feel like I would have been inspired if I had someone like me to show me how grateful I am or how blessed I am. And we all are blessed. And sometimes you look at what's going on with someone else and it allows you to realize how blessed you are and not take things for granted. And that's the main focus. Don't take things for granted and you can start right now in your life. Um, do better now. I tell myself that all the time. I want to do better. I want to be better. It's just um, sometimes it's not, I, don't, I don't feel like this trying to be perfectionist. It's just always striving to do better because I know God can make you do better if you just talk, allow him to use you. It's always room for improvement. 
and now we all want to do better. Yeah. So I just, that's what I want to do. I want to get closer and do better. Oh yeah, I, de I definitely can relate because, you know, I'm Christian myself. You know, um, I definitely feel that God has given me the gift to get for a reason. So, you know, and being that I have cerebral palsy, spastic to be exact, um, I definitely would want somebody to look up to me and be like, yeah, if she could do it, I could do it. And I feel like we didn't really have YouTube and stuff like that until later times. So now it's like a whole new generation of differently able children and even, you know, the able-bodied community could look up to, you know, people like ourselves. So, yeah, I definitely can relate. Yeah, yeah. They, we, they, a lot of people need that. Yeah. To help them be grateful for yeah. what they can do. Um, like, like you were saying earlier, all things through Christ. That means, like, all things. People don't really realize, like, um, like what, what was it? Samson? He was fighting, fighting for Christ. You know, you, you can do all for Christ as long as you put God inside of it. It'll come out to a positive way. Now, I'm not saying you can go out looking for negativity and thinking it's gonna turn around to positive. That's not how God works. You got love in you know, the right and in positivity in your heart, and you put God in it. And you got a great. I mean, you you're doing it for the right reasons. You're doing it for a positive reason. We all know negative and positive. You will, you will prosper. God will work with you. God will allow you to do great things as long as you put Him involved with it. Yes, but I mean to count to counteract what you're saying. Everyone has a story. Everyone may have not known God like right off the bat from when they were younger. Some people have to go through hard roles until they're ready to want to get closer to God and build a relationship with God. So it doesn't matter what age you are, but like you said, as long as you seek him first and allow him to come into your heart, then you can't go wrong and nothing is impossible, but you have to believe because all you got to do is have faith the size of a mustard seed, you know? So that's all That's all you have. That's all a dream is. And want to allow him to use you. Yes. You have to, it's, your, it's your choice. You can do yes. it. It's, it's all up to you. You have the power yes. to allow him to use you. And once you do that, you can move mountains. Yes. I mean, look at the wall of Jericho. Look, look how it just took a trumpet, <laughs> you know? Exactly. So it don't matter it don't matter what you do, you know, as long as you got him, as long as you believe in it, as long as you talk to him, you know, which way should I go, you know? If it's not if it's not this way, then Lord you tell me, so I know. So I've i I've been I've I've been there. I you know, I've seen it I've seen it for myself, so you know. And I love you, like you said, I love hip hop. My thing was leaving church as a youth, playing on the, um, playing the drums for the choirs or whatever. So I'll be leaving the church, getting in the car with everybody. And I'm like, everybody always, no matter who I'm in the car with, when I get in the car, they all listen to one or two jams when they get out of church. And that's not gospel music, or that's not, one or two jams is like regular hip hop. So my goal was like, Secular. Secular. Yes. The secular, so I'm like, man, I gotta make music to um that I gotta make us make songs that will be where they where people will want to hear them, and it's got God involved with it, and it's not going to, it's not, it's still cool, it's still like God can be God can do it because all things can be done. Yeah, so I'm like, I know it can be done. It can be a song that's just as hard talking about God and cool and. And it don't have to be about going to the strip club or being with different, you know, women. Or so, yeah, I, yeah. Or 
um, or people ain't gonna be like, man, oh man, I can't do that right now. You know, I'm doing. I don't want nobody to get no type of conviction. I just want you to go hard and praise God. I don't want you to be like, dang man, I'm smoking right now. I can't listen to that because it don't matter what you're doing. If you put God involved with it, He gonna work on you. But I, I'm tired of people feeling like, oh man, the gospel on. I gotta stop doing what I'm doing. Like, or you know. Because God's always there, so why do you feel like just because this is going on, he's always there. So you should feel like that all the time. So let me let me ask you this. Have you ever had someone come up to you and said one of your songs um, helped me to get saved? Yeah. Yeah. And how did you feel when you heard that? I felt... I feel honored. I feel like I'm I'm doing I feel like um I feel humbled and I feel like I need to do more because I feel like God has used me and I'm I'm grateful and I would like him to use me more and I want to bring more people closer cuz that's what it's about. If I could just say one person or help one person get close to God and I'm doing my job, but I want to do more. Yes, I'm always going to do more. You know, it's like that scripture, when two or more are gathered, he's in the midst. So if you, if you know, I mean, look at Moses. When they went to Egypt, you know, he had everybody with him. So, I mean, and it's just like what you're trying to do. You know, the more and more you put people on your brand, the more and more people will want to strike a relationship with him. I mean, that's, you know, just listening to you, you know, um, that's what I hope people will take away and, you know, just want to, you know, pray, you know, pray and, you know, and ask God to just come into their heart, you know? Get closer. Yeah. I, the, the songs that I make, I, I need, I, 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 I made them to touch people and not feel a certain way or feel bad. They just like, man, you talking about God, like that's tight. Like, yeah, and I per personally, but I don't feel I don't feel like gospel music is that. Like if you're if you're have if you have a relationship with God, sorry. If you have a relationship with God and you're saved, then you understand it. But I don't feel that gospel music is like that. Because there's different types of gospel music. Like if you're in a rut, then you would probably pray, um, play, uh, what's the song? I'm trying to think of something. You probably would pray some Fred Hammond, you know, give me a clean heart or take my mm -hmm. hand. Or, you know, uh, conquerors from Kirk Franklin and the family. Or if you want to feel upbeat, you might play some Kiara Shear, Don't Judge Me. Or, you know, there there's different... Well, I put it like this. I feel like the music that God has put me to make is really not for people who... My, the music I make is for, like, somebody who don't want to hear no gospel. They like, bruh. Like, will you put with it on? Yeah, you know like the mean? like a maybe a non-believer, you know. Yeah, or just like the youth that they're, they're right. Like, like, they, they need they know God, but they they kind of distance themselves away from it. They don't understand. Well, if so, you're not well, if if you're not really you know taught at home, you know about who God is and what God can do for you in the Bible and all that, then you're not going to know. I mean, I was very fortunate. My mom, you know, even though I may not to went to church every Sunday, but she made sure I knew what a Bible was. <laughs> she, you know, she made she made sure you know as we as my siblings and I as we got older, no secular Saturdays. We couldn't listen to secular music. And, you know what I'm saying? So I I knew from a very young age, you know, and te teaching us, you know, teaching us how to pray. You know, I mean, it's just those those things have to be those things have to be taught and. I'm not saying, yes, you have to force your children into it, 
But it's good to have that sense of it's, right. Yeah, it's, yeah. But it's good to teach your child, give your child a foundation. Is what I'm, you know. Uh, ch- children need foundation because how, are, like you said, how are they gonna know where to go? It's up to now when they get old. Now when they get older, you know, if they want to do what they want to do, you know. But they have, but they have to know firsthand. Like, th- this is what it is, you know. You're right. But next question: If you weren't into rap, what other career path would you have chosen? Well, um, uh, so, hmm. yeah, well, um, ten I'm an artist. I like. I'm very creative. It's always probably something to do with creative, what I'm doing now. But I guess if you want to kind of block me off from everything, if I wasn't doing art, I don't know, because I would be an actor, um, you know. Uh, what I do now, I would still probably do this, do what I do, but I would be trying to act or um, what else could I do? Anything creative, shoot videos, um, like different perspectives. Like I like to see how Hollywood or... Um, professional production companies do what they do. I look at what I see and I'm always able to transform it into my mind and re um reiterate it out to where other people can understand it or visualize it. I'm just haven't been able to have anybody hands on to work with me anymore. I don't have anybody. I've been doing everything strictly on my own and I'm quadriplegic so it's like I have a few friends but I know I, I, I don't I don't have anybody really that's worked with me. Um but um, I have friends that they have to work too. Uh, but um, but for the most part, I don't have anybody really working with me. So it's like I'm not able to thrive as much as I know I could or do things. Or how can I put it? I'm not able to explore that. So I really don't know. I know from being in a nursing home, they threw me in the nursing home from when I did get, I broke my neck. I was in a coma. They threw me in this home. And when I used to be there, my whole thing was what? Inspiring um inspiring the older. Yeah, well, or they would they would help me out also. But I had a Google, so I would um always play some music from their their I found out when their birthday was and I played music from their time and then people there were that was like in the whole of the world like they'd be old, like um how can I put it like I say, see now, old people that really weren't talking to nobody. So I would see them every day. I, it was just old man. He was in the bed. And he wasn't talking to nobody. Like, right? he wasn't talking to nobody. So I found out when his birthday was, and I did the math to like when he was like 17, and I found out all the hit songs in that time. And it was a song, and it was like, Give me a ticket for an airplane. I ain't got time to take a fast train. The only days are gone. I'm not coming home. My baby wrote me a letter. So I thought I learned that song. I was, I, I was like, this song hard. So when I learned that song, I had played like a couple songs. I knew it already. So I come in there and I set up the Google. He was sitting in the bed and he was like, like looking like just stone faced. Man, when I cut that song on and started moving around, man, I tell you, this man's face, if I could have recorded that, the way this man's face looked, and he looked at me and was smiling and like, from then on, whenever he saw me, he smiled and made noise. He'd just be so happy to see mm-hmm. me. I guess I, I put that song because tell me he went, his face was so strong after that. It was just so smiley all the time. And his family was there one time. And I told them, I was like, y'all got to get him a Google Home. Like, I was just telling them. And they was like, yeah, look how he's smiling because you ain't here. Like, they didn't even know what was going on. They're trying to figure I was explaining them, but that's just the power of God. We are running out of time, so we may have to resend okay. you another link. But I'm just going to have you answer one more question really quick. Okay. What, okay. Do you, what do you hope people take away from your music and your brand? I pray that they be inspired to get closer to God. Um, understand that you can do all things through Christ. And be... Inspired and we want to get closer to God and 
want to do your thing for God. Um, that's just, yeah, I want to inspire people to get closer to God. Because, you know, I make trap music for Jesus, and I want to inspire the youth because there's too much of this negativity going on. It's too much. And I know I can do something about it. They hear some of the songs I made. They see what I do. It'll make them want to change. Like, I had this one child on um, the ladder back. Um, but this is before I got injured. I used to be doing songs in Atlanta. And this one kid one time, after I finished performing, he was just looking. I was like, "Damn, bro, what's up? I was like, bro, you keep you keep talking to God. You gonna have you a fat money stack. He looked up at me. He was like, I don't want no money stack. I want what you got. I was like, what's that? He's like, I want that blessing stamp. That Zechariah that. Right we said, he's trying to be, this boy was like eight years old, but he was in Atlanta. They real smart then. He was he was like, nah, I want that. I want what you said, that Zechariah right that. That blessing stamp. Maniac, I want, I want that. Like, I want that. I'm like, you can't have that. You feel me? So that was one time I was really like, touched like, yes, this is, powerful like God is yes, serious. Yes. You know, got a little youth wanna be a blessing stack. He got it. Yes, yes, yes. And like I said, if you if when you're ready, if you just cast your cares on him and accept him in your heart, there's nothing that you can't do. And if you and guys, if you want to check out his YouTube, make sure you subscribe to Show Off Praise, where you get all notifications of, you know, new songs dropping. So make sure y'all yeah. go check that out. And yeah. what piece of advice has someone given you, past or present, that still resonates with you still to this day? Um, um keep God in the picture. My grandma, she always told me, keep God in the picture. No matter what's going on, keep God in the picture. And I understood that as to you can do all things through Christ. Put God involved with everything you do. And you, if you involve God with it, it will it'll work. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll turn out good. Because all things for those who love God turn out for good. So keep God involved with what you do. And you will be, you will be all right. Who are your musical influences? Oh, I love, um, I like rap, like, I, I like Gucci, Gucci, um, uh, let me think, I like, um, Gucci, Future, Gunna, Seahart, I like any, really a lot of the rappers that flow, I like their flow, but I want to bring their flow, I want to, like, bring that, um, element to, gospel hip hop so people will wanna hear that just as hard like they um I need them to feel what people talk about like God in the way like I say I'ma hit you with the dial tone. You can hear me trapping through my phone. In the name of Jesus put your own. Every day I gotta say a song. Every day I gotta make a sale. Give me Jesus, I ain't gonna tell. It don't matter if the police run the block, still trapping Jesus at the hotel. Yeah. You know, like yeah. And where do you see yourself in ten years? I think I see a show of praise productions in the works. Yes, in ten years, hopefully it'll be the well. Ten years, I have a movie done. I have the show of praise production studios. So we'll have we'll have you come in. You'll come through if you like to. Yes. We get up with Tyler Perry. We will have a movie made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Tyler Perry, but we, we can we can work something, you know. But um I just wanna say thank you for allowing me to interview you and you being a part of the Ann Perspective. And that wraps up today's show. I can do all things. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, show off praise one and that's it. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.